वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट आवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल ओवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you welcome to c2 lab our today's experiment is on rf behavior of resistor Now this is a problem statement which we have to implement on MATLAB. In this statement we are provided with resistance value, sigma value, frequency, capacitance and awg and length. So we have to implement on MATLAB. This diagram equivalent circuit representation of resistor at high frequency. As you can see in this picture here that uh, the values for different age of awg is given for 50 it is 2 raised to 0 for 50 minus 6 it is 2 raised to 1 for 50 minus 6 minus 6 that is 50 minus 12 it is 2 raised to 2 in this way we are getting a value of the diameter in mill we have 26 awg so according to the diagram we'll get 16 mill and will multiply it with 2.54 into 10 raised to minus 5 meter this is how we get the value of the area from the diagram we can write the impedance formula which will be like this the impedance of inductor is j omega l and that of capacitor is 1 by j omega c here capacitor and the resistors are connected in pair at high frequency omega l by r dc is always a by 2 delta therefore this is what the value of l is there is a formula for rdc this is the final formula of l now let's see how the matlab code looks so this is the basic matlab code for resistors now clc stands for clearing all the screens close all closes all the commands now as we have seen in the problem statement we have taken r is equals to 2000 capacitance equals to 5 into 10 raised to minus 12 for representing 10 we write e now pi is already defined in matlab so instead of writing 3.142 we write pi l1 l2 are already given and a i have already told you about awg and how a1 is derived sigma value is given and f is a range from 10 raised to 6 to 4 into 10 raised to 9 now d equals to log f gives the frequency in log l now from the formula which we have already learned like seen we have written we have written this equation and z1 is also written accordingly now we use dot slash in order to get the output if you miss this dot and just represent it normally you won't get the output now subplot is a command used in matlab to plot it here this first two stands for two rows this next two and stands for two columns thus we have divided the whole window in to four parts and one stands for the first part of that four parts log log f a b z z1 uh, is used for plotting that graph in log title gives the title of the program in that block and these are the conditions which are we have repeated according to the questions and the conditions which are provided to us now let's what's its output this is the plot of absolute value of impedance of the resistor plotted versus the frequency now here we can see this line is the ideal resistance this is the capacitive effect and this is the inductive effect 
these effects vary, vary according to the AWG and length. You can see that for different AWG and length values, we are getting a different frequency response. This is all about the RF behavior of resistors at high frequency. That's all for today. Thank you.